Hey there, welcome back to Short Triggers. In today's video, I will show you how you can send automatic instant telegram messages from Google Sheets. I mean, suppose you were adding any data on your Google Sheets and instant automatic telegram message will be sent. Sounds good, right? So this is Devraj from team Short Triggers. I will show you everything and explain every point in this video regarding this automation. Okay, so keep watching this video till the end. I will start with an example. Suppose your customers are buying products from your e-commerce site and you were collecting your leads information on a Google Sheets. Okay, so assume that somehow the data is being stored on your Google Sheets. So after getting the customer's information, you want to send it to your internal team via Telegram. So this can be a repetitive process because there are multiple orders on your website and you were sharing the order details or the leads information to your internal team via Telegram repetitively one by one manually by typing messages, right? So this can be a hectic process and also time taking. But we have a solution for you. Using short triggers, you will be able to automate the whole process. Once you add the data on Google Sheets, an instant message will be sent to your telegram. Sounds cool, right? So using short triggers, you will be able to automate any repetitive process. Okay, basically short triggers is an automation tool where you can connect multiple WordPress sites, plugins, and web applications like Stripe, Resopay, Google Forms, Google Sheets, etc. with each other and automate your repetitive task. Here in this video, we'll use Google Sheets as a trigger application and Telegram as an action application. If this is your first time automating something, you may feel overwhelmed because there are some new terms like triggers, actions, workflows, etc. So I will explain everything and show you practically in this video. So do not worry about that. One more important thing to automate the whole process, we need a telegram bot. So I will show you how to create a telegram bot from the scratch. To create a bot, first of all, log in to your telegram account on the web browser and search for bot father. Here is the bot father, click here and next you can see that there is a start button. Click on it. Next go to this menu icon and click on new bot. It is asking for the bot name. Suppose the name is short triggers automation and click on send button. Now it is asking for the username. Make sure the username ends with underscore bot. Okay. So suppose the username is short triggers automation underscore bot. Click on send button. So the bot is created. This is the token. We need to copy that. This token will help us to connect short triggers with telegram. So I'm going to short triggers. This is the official website of short triggers. If you have not signed up yet, you can simply sign up and enjoy your free trial. I have already an account, so I will be signing in here. This is the main dashboard where you can see that there are different type of stats present here like number of tasks, the active workflows, etc. So we need to connect telegram with short triggers. For that, we will go to the apps option. Click on apps and click on create new connection and search for telegram. Click on telegram. Here you can see that it is asking for the title of the connection and the bot token. The title will be suppose telegram and the bot token we copied from telegram. Okay, this one. So we need to paste it here and click on connect telegram. You can see that telegram is successfully added here. Now go to telegram again. Here you can see that this is the bot link. We need to click here and click on start button. The next thing we need to create a group here. For that, click on this pen icon and click on new group. We need to add the bot here. So search for the bot, short triggers. Here you can see that short triggers automation. This is the bot. I am adding it. I will also add other team members. Next click on this arrow icon. 
we need to change the group name suppose the group name is short triggers automation and click on this arrow icon so the group created successfully you can click here you can see that there are only two members present in this group you can also add more members next we need to promote this bot as an admin so this option is not available from the web version of telegram we need to use our mobile phone for that open this group from your mobile phone and mark this bot as an admin so i promoted this bot as an admin we need to refresh the page you can see that the bot is now an admin here next we need the chat id of this group so the chat id is this one we need to copy that so starting from here and ending up to this this chat id will be required on short triggers when we will create the workflow so copy that we need to create a workflow now so click on the workflow section if you're creating your first workflow the interface will be like this click on create workflow you can create a workflow from the scratch or you can also take help of ai this option is currently in beta version now so we'll create from the scratch suppose name it google sheets to telegram and click on create workflow created successfully so it is asking for the trigger trigger is the starting point of a workflow okay workflow is basically the sequence of step by step works that are performed systematically trigger is the starting point of a workflow okay our trigger application is google sheets search for google sheets here is the google sheets trigger click on it our event is add new or updated spreadsheet row it means whenever you will add any data or any row on your google sheets the trigger will happen so selecting this one and clicking on this continue button here you can see that there is a webo url we need to copy that it will help us to connect short triggers with your google sheets so i have already a sheet on google sheets let me open that this is the sheet that i created a few minutes ago if you are using short triggers for the first time on google sheets then you need to add the webhook extension of short triggers here so for that go to extensions and click on add-ons and then get add-ons okay so we have already installed the short triggers webhook plugin here but if you're using the for the first time then you need to install that so this is the short triggers webhook click on it simply install it and connect it with your email id or google account for now i am closing the pop-up after the successful installation make sure that you are refreshing the google sheets okay next we need to set up the webhook so click on extensions and click on short triggers webhook and click on start setup we need to paste the webhook url here that we copied from short triggers so paste it here and our trigger column is column c because column c is the last column where we are adding the data this is why we are considering our trigger column as column c okay so next click on send test data send successfully and click on submit and close the pop-up again go to extensions and go to short triggers for book make sure that this option is enabled currently it is enabled by default okay again go to extensions and go to short triggers for book make sure that this sending data option is enabled by default it is enabled okay so go to short triggers and click on continue button we are waiting for the new updated spreadsheet row event okay so we need to add some data on google sheets let me add some data here and click on enter button now go to short triggers here you can see that the data we entered on the google sheets is already fetched by short triggers so this is working fine now we need to save this click on the save button our trigger application is set now we need to add the action application our action application is telegram 
so the main concept is trigger and action the action is an event that is performed after the trigger event is run suppose you turn on a switch and after that the light comes on here turning on the switch can be considered as a trigger and the light turning on can be considered as an action so the same concept is working here let me add the action application our action application is telegram click on telegram we need to send the event the event can be you wanna send a photo video audio or document so i am selecting the send message option next we need to add the connection so this is my telegram connection here if you have not added your connection on short triggers you can simply add the connection by clicking on this create new connection button so currently i'm selecting this one next click on continue button now it is asking for the chat id so we copied the chat id from telegram you can go to telegram and copy that so here is the chat id copy that and simply paste it here next you can select the parse mode or text format you can choose the html format or the markdown format or you can also map the data by typing at the rate here so this is not a mandatory field here so i am skipping that if you want to know more about this you can simply click here and you will get all the documentation here so i'm skipping that part now we need to write the message so simply type at the rate to map the data here you can see that the name and the email and the product name is also present here so select that and i'm clicking on the continue button we need to click the test action button to test the whole process is working properly or not once you click that there will be a response received there and also a telegram message will be sent so clicking here action tested successfully here you can see that the customer name the email id and the other details are present here okay so it's working fine now closing the telegram you can see that the response is received uh, from google sheets all the details are fetched here so click on save button the action application is also set now this is the trigger i mean google sheets is the trigger application and telegram is the action application and the whole thing can be considered as a workflow okay so we need to publish the workflow the workflow is published successfully from now if you add any data on your google sheets then you will receive an instant automatic telegram message on your telegram group okay i think the process is very simple and if you run into any blockers please drop us an email we'll get back to you soon and please subscribe to short triggers youtube channel in this channel we'll post more important videos regarding automations okay so do not forget to subscribe for today bye see you in next video